On May the 7th in Las Vegas, Sol Canelo Alvarez will fight Amir Khan. Nobody saw it coming. It was brilliant. And it's a delight and a pleasure to welcome, live from San Francisco, Amir Khan. Amir, first of all, thanks for joining us. And um, let me ask you this question, quite simple. How did you keep it secret? Um, you know, me and Oscar were speaking for a long, long time. Obviously, uh, I was working on getting the fight against Kell Brook. I never went to the table and said to Kell Brook's team, I want 80-20. You know, I met Eddie Hearn in Liverpool, and he said to me, look, you can make around about 10 million quid. So I stuck to that. So when I went into negotiation for that fight, what he already said to me, what I can make, I said, I want that. And that's when he started to say, oh, we can't do that. He never offered me anything near that. So... At that, at that time, I would speak to Alvarez, and I knew it was a massive fight. And, you know, I want 2016 being a big year for me. So I'm going to take this big fight. And looking at it stylistically, it's a great fight. It's a great fight for me. It's a great match. It's a great fight for and you. And that's one of the reasons I took the fight. Uh, Amir, let me ask you this. I know that it's going to be made at 155, a pound above light middle and four pounds inside middle. But let me ask you this. What did you weigh on the night last year for your Algeria fight? How much were you on the night? Can you remember? Well, you know, for the Algeria fight, I was a little bit lighter than normal because I changed a little bit on my diet. So I was okay. only around about 156, 157. Okay. But then when I was at the Devon Alexander fight and the fight before that, which was Colazzo, I weighed in at 161. Wow. So I think this could be, if I do things right now and do the weight right, the diet right, which I'm doing, yep. um, I don't want to eat up to 155. I want to train up to 155. So I want to be nice and strong going into the ring around about 165. That's what I want to be going in at. And I want to make sure I'm going to be strong in there. Look, I'm not going to be standing in front of him for him to hit me. Of course not. I'm going to be boxing him smartly. I'm going to be smart in there. I'm going to stick to my you know, my boxing skills. But I really believe that, look, if I do hit him with a good clean shot, I can hurt him. And, no. mm. you know, that's what, I, that's what I really believe, yeah. Now, uh, uh, Mia, uh, I've seen lots of pictures of you and um, you and Sol Canelo I I in different gyms. Have you actually ever sparred with him? We've never sparred with each other, no, no. We, we respect each other. We've met each other many times at fights. I've spoken to him. He's a little bit shorter than me, you know, and... Yeah. I think the only thing, he's, he's very thick. He's a very thick, um, you know, he's got a very thick body and he's, uh, he, he seems very heavy and very dense. So, but, you know, that's one guy who I'm not going to, uh, I've never sparred with him, but he's one guy who I'd never want to stand there with and trade punches. You know, and I think this only will bring the best out of me because it'll make me think and it'll make me box and stick to my game plan because I know one little mistake here could get me in trouble. Now, when, when the deal was finalised, I understand it was last weekend, uh, were there any problems, any stumbling blocks? Did they, did they ask you to do things or did you ask them to do things? Or was it one of those fights that just got made smoothly? It just got made smoothly because, you know, I've known Oscar for a long, long time and he's always been good with me. Obviously, I had to get Al Heyman involved in this, so Al Heyman was, you know, involved in the negotiations. And everything went so smooth. And that's the way I like fights. Look, my team never make things hard. They always make things easy and they want things to be nice and easy. So we did, it happened nice and smoothly. Within, within days, the fight was made. But before that, you know, me and Oscar were talking about, you know, what would happen if me and Alvarez fought. He did mention it to me a long time ago. Look, that'll be a massive fight, he said to me. He said it'll be a huge fight because you're both big names around the world. Yeah. And it could be made up being a huge fight. So, look, it's happened now. And now I'm training for that, and I'm doing a lot of strength conditioning. I'm doing a lot of training for it, and I'm going to be ready for the fight. Look, I really believe I can beat him. I know there's going to be a lot of people saying that um, I'm, I'm jumping the gun, and um, but I really believe I have the skills, the movement, the speed, the power to beat Alvarez, and just to make history as well, yeah. Uh, it's, it's fair to say I can tell how excited you are about the fight. Do you know if there'll be a tour, and do you know if there'll be a stop anywhere in Britain, or is it just going to be strictly an American and Mexican tour? Look, no, no, but I, I insisted to have a tour in the UK so that way I can give my UK fans a chance to see me and the press conference and to see Alvarez as well because sure. this is, these are the fights that, you know, these are the big fights and I'm sure the UK fans would want to be involved in this so I'm going to keep them involved. So I insisted to have a press conference in the UK and to spend some time there and do some training there as well. So 
um, yeah, we will be there. Listen, Amir, it's a delight and a pleasure. Say hello to all the fellas in, in the gym, including Virgil and Andre for me, and we'll speak to you soon. Amir Khan, thanks for your time. Take care, man. Thank you. <laughs>